Okay, so that was the uh, problem of this. I just think that it's um, way too hot for a cheese toasty. I mean, I'm, uh, you know, more more power is a better tool kind of person, but uh, to be honest, it's just a little bit too hot for a cheese toasty when it comes out burnt, even with my uh, manly cooking skills. So um, I have a couple of options. I could either try and reduce the uh, temperature of the thermostat, or I could try and reduce the power that's used by this unit. Um, I didn't uh, want to mess around with the thermostat because then it has a problem with uh, cooking steaks and meat on that. So uh, what I'll do is a um, uh, quick little bit of theory on this. So the power is voltage times the current used by the device. And the voltage that we're applying to the um, 3 in 1 grill is 240 volts. And the current that it draws at is proportional to the resistance of the heating element. Uh, so, what, what is that formula? That, of course, is Ohm's law. Now, the uh, resistance of the heating element is. Uh, fixed within the well, I say fixed. It actually varies as it gets hotter and colder. But it, in in the theory of things, it's a resistance is a fixed value, and um, as the voltage goes up and down, the the current will go up and down in proportion. But we can actually uh, combine these together. So actually, the power is um, voltage, and we will substitute this. For our Ohm's law. So the power is um, actually voltage squared divided by the resistance. So you can see as the voltage is increased, the power goes up as a square of the voltage. So by reducing the voltage that's applied to the 3 in 1 grill, will actually be reducing the power substantially. So what can we do to reduce the uh, voltage to the, uh, the grill? Let's have a think. Ta-da! Introducing Panini Grill Adapter. What this is, is two main sockets with the main supply. And they're connected in series, so the live of this socket is connected to the neutral of this socket. Supply neutral here, supply live here. And it means that the mains voltage is now divided across two appliances. So what we need is a suitable appliance to uh, reduce the voltage for the Panini adapter. And I reckon we should use the good old kettle. Let's get this all set up, and I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the running. All right, then here we go. So we've got the adapter plugged into the mains. One plug goes off to the kettle. Other plug goes off to the panini grill. Power on. So, between live and neutral, we have 235 volts, pretty standard for a nice day. Across the kettle, we have 95 volts, and across the panini grill, 140 volts. So we've reduced from 235 to 140. Great. So super quickly we were um, the Panini grill was uh, around 2000 watts and we were at 235 volts and too sure what the current was. So we could divide this so 
current at 235 was about 8.5 amps or thereabouts so if we put that back into ohm's law we would say that the resistance is about 270 ohms or there we go so we've got a element that's about 27 ohms um, we now have we can actually put this into our power formula which p equals v squared over r so the power that's now consumed is um, we've reduced the voltage to about 130 I think it was 135 volts or and this would be squared of course and divided by the resistance which is 27 so the power is now about 600 watts so we've reduced from 2000 down to 600 watts so let's uh, give it a go